Hello traders, welcome to Alice Blue. This is Defend Guru. And in this video, I'll discuss about Bank Nifty. So now you can see this is a Bank Nifty daily chart. So in a Bank Nifty, the price is running in downtrend right now. So here you can see, according to the price action method, they're creating lower low and a lower high, right? Lower low, lower high, and the lower low, lower high. And the lower low here, lower high are there. Now right now, uh, you can see here, the price is running in a range. So we have seen this is called range. So this is our trading range, right? So this is trading range. Uh, the resistance are showing here 28,600, right? And the support are forming around 27,500, right? And here we have seen uh, 27,000 and 28,000, right? Almost 1,000 point. Uh, this is trading range, right? So what is our trading plan, right? So, I'm looking for any sell position below this uh, resistance line, right? So, I'm looking for sell here uh, below this uh, resistance line, remember. And the buy, I'm looking for here above this supporting line, right? Now, question is that, is it time to enter or can I enter here market? So, answer is no. Why? Because you can see the price is running in a midpoint of this range, right? In a midpoint, we never enter in this market, remember. And we are looking for sell below this resistance line. When price will be here somewhere and when we will see some candlestick pattern or bearish pattern in a small time frame, remember. In a small time frame, so definitely we will go for sell. And they're looking for buy above this supporting line right so let's check it uh, so here you can see this is a four hour chart and they're looking like that right so now you can see this is a small time pen right so let me draw some supporting line so this is a minor supporting line right and uh, we have seen some resistant point are there have you seen this is a resistant point higher point this is a higher point and here a higher point. Now let me connect here. So I want to connect more uh, most recent process area. Right? Have you seen? I connect that. Just a minute. So this was my previous higher point and higher point and higher point. I connected three process area. And have you seen this support? Support. There is support and support, support, somewhere support, support. So right now you can see the price is running in a triangle set in a small time frame. Remember, let me let me draw another thing. Then it comes to no. Right. This is our large range. Right. This is this is our large time frame range, like four hour or daily. And a small time frame in a 15 minute, the price is running in a triangle set. Right. This is called triangle set. So, if two people don't have idea about the triangle set, you just visit to our ant IQ page and you just visit search pattern and you will find this uh, triangle set. What is the behavior behind this triangle set, right? So, when they are forming this type of pattern, so we are expecting price will reach that area, right? So, like that. Now, have you seen? Uh, this is uh, this was a supporting line. So why I'm telling where is our entry point was there, right? Let me explain. So let me zoom uh, a little more, a little bit here. Uh, so now we can see here we have seen some supporting pattern are there. So now we can see here after getting this to lower point. Have you seen this was first lower point and after that market create a new low. Uh, sorry, lower point. Uh, it's called higher low. So after that market just boom, right? That was right. So after that we have seen two lower point and we connect that at diagonal line. Remember, by connecting diagonal line, we have seen next a supporting point. When market was running toward downside, we have seen a candlestick pattern. Have you seen this one? This is called hammer pattern. Right, so, so let me zoom a little more. Then it comes to no, right? 
all right now we have seen this is lower point and lower point is connected and in the third lower point we have seen this is a hammer point or doji pattern have you seen and exactly they are forming above this supporting line so you can see this is a supporting line so this is a high probability buy entry and high probability to uh, reverse the market from that area and after that you can see market is boom right so here was somewhere buy point so i think remember so next we have seen when price fell down we have seen this is a candlestick pattern right so above this candlestick pattern this was a buy but don't enter immediately always place buy order above that candlestick pattern right so later you can see here uh, next have you seen uh, another buy opportunity are there right we have seen this is a hammer pattern right so big question is where our sl so here was our buy entry above this candle have you seen this was a higher point of that candle and here we have seen this is a lower point and we place our sl just below a little more below this candlestick pattern here was our sl right here was our sl our entry point was above this candle have you seen this was previous higher point and this is lower so we will place our sl below this candlestick pattern right so next we have seen this was candlestick pattern but uh, we are not adding or more uh, because uh, we don't know from this area it might reverse right it uh, probably so next we have seen this is a strong support of forming and after that we have seen again this is candlestick pattern have you seen bullish candlestick pattern right this is called hammer pattern so we will place sl just below there and our buy entry above this candle let me show you properly then it comes to know all right uh, this is higher point we place our buy order above little more and our sl will be here like this is called a risk and we are taking one r right so our target will be here somewhere two r one r one r two r somewhere like that so let me check it so by connecting this cross line we can say this is our entry point and sl will be around 15 points right so 100 uh, 50 point and our target 300 somewhere here uh somewhere here 300 is showing and here 1.2 two percent is showing 1.1.15 uh, ratio like that showing are there that means if you are taking one percent r your tech profit is one point r always at least place one point r if you are not placing two uh you can place one point r right somewhere here will be target right so once market reach that area we will close our position remember and we are looking for again for uh looking for sell below in this supporting line like some candlestick pattern have you seen this is uh, evening star candlestick pattern and then we are placing sell below this pattern right because this is called range trading remember this is called range trading so right now the price is running in a range right we know because in a four hour we have seen this is a range just a minute in a four hour we have seen this is a range right four hour this is a range this is range 1000 point as well this is a trading range and a small time frame uh, we are entering both side right buy and sell because this is called range trading so we are looking for some sell here below in this area below in this range 10 line right right so just for the buy you can see here and this is our buy above right this is our buy and this is a large range have you seen this is a large range and this is a small range right this is called small range triangle set they are forming like that so if you want to trade you just trade in between this area right as so here if market break this level don't start uh, don't uh, start selling because here are some support after breaking this range don't start buy because here we have seen this is a range then so again for the buy we are waiting to break this level if they break so definitely we will start buying above this area above right and if they break this level 
so we will start selling below this support level right so i hope you enjoy this video if you like this video please like and subscribe thanks for watching